Next, let's go to 1C. Tinanong ko sila, what will be my OOTD for the video? <laughs> Sana wag nila ako pagsuotin ng gown. Wag ding maxi, wag ding cocktail dress kasi ang init guys. Sana piliin nila yung house clothes. Sana comfortable house clothes lang. But I have a feeling I have a feeling na hindi yun ang pinili nila. Letter D! Ah! <laughs> Ay, cocktail dress naman ako, di ba? Oh my God! O sige, cocktail dress. However, moment of truth. Ito yung tanong ko para sa VC1C. Hindi ko masyadong gusto yung pinili ninyong option na cocktail dress. Gusto ko pa rin masagot nyo to ng tama, okay? So, sagot kayo ng maayos. Tinanong ko ang VC1C ko ano ang OOTD ko. And they chose a cocktail dress. Namin ko, wala naman talaga akong cocktail dress. But I do have... Tadaan! I do have this glittery skirt. So, siguro papasa na to, kind of. <laughs> Sorry, Miss Yuansi. Alamin muna natin kung anong sinagot nila. <laughs> kung satisfied ba ako sa kanilang sagot. Good day po, ma'am. Here's our answer po. In this, we use the verb has instead of have. The reason why has is used is because looking at the sentence, the subject is the word equipment and is described by the quantifier a lot. Despite being described of having a lot of equipment, since the word equipment is a mass noun, it is always followed by a singular verb. Okay, they answered the correct verb, but let's just clarify something about this sentence. The word equipment is not our subject. It is just the object of the preposition of. This word. That's the subject of the sentence. The word lot is a curious word because it can be both singular and plural. It just depends on what it refers to in the sentence. Look at these examples. Yeah? This will be our OOTD for this video. <laughs> Next kong in the message ay ang VC2A. How will I wear my hair for the video? Kaya pinili nila. Braids! My gosh! Makapagmukha akong high school neto. Tapos, eto yung sentence nila. Sendan natin kay Erica. <laughs> um, nagpalit na ako ng cocktail okay, So now, it's time to check VC2A. I asked them, how am I going to wear my hair? Nilagyan ko muna ng hair towel. Hindi sila sumagot. Wala silang reply dun sa question. <laughs> Why VC2A? Why? Ang pinili nila braids, pero dahil hindi sila naka-reply dun sa question ko, I'm not gonna do braids. <laughs> pero, sagutan natin. How do we answer subject-verb agreement? Of course, we need to identify our subject. And it's the word chances. And of course, the word chances is plural, so we have to use a plural verb. The correct answer should have been R. So, so how do I wear my hair today? Siguro para maiba naman, ganito na lang. Choke! Choke lang. <laughs> Ipapart ko siya sa gitna. Usually kasi nandito sa side. So I'm gonna part it in the middle. Para lang maiba naman. Para mas maayos kung mapakita sa inyo ang pinili niyong OOTD for me, mag-photoshoot tayo sa garden. <laughs> um, paano po mag-photoshoot? Hmm... Look what you made me wear. Okay na, pagod na ako. <laughs> Sige, uwi na tayo. <laughs> <laughs>